Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel discussion. Today we will going to discuss about Laravel routes and how to send parameter within routes and how to create a closer function and how to pass optional parameter through routes. So this is my Laravel application and this is the project directory. Here I want to create a URL suppose like student and I want to pass the name of the student okay and i want to pass the name of the student suppose john okay so while entering this link it's showing 404 not found basically we need to create route for students and we need to take a parameter the name okay so we just create a route so inside the routes we will have the web.php okay so basically this is the closer function now I want to create a link for students so remove this name for now so just create a link for students so just create route route and get and my link is students okay so here is my link and I will create a closer function so my function so here I will just return hi i am student okay and close the semicolon so if we now refresh this page we will get the text that is hi i am student now i defined the student name suppose there may have thousands of students in a class and now i want to pass the student name inside the url and i want to display the name from the routes okay so just pass the john here and now here you can see the 404 not found so here we need to create a parameter okay so suppose the parameter is name and pass this here the name variable and hi i am a student and my name is the dollar name okay so if we refresh this page we can see hi i am student and my name is john so if we say then david so here we go. so hi i am student and my name is david okay so in this way we can send parameter and we can receive this parameter from routes so now there is a problem in this so if we want to see the only students link we cannot see so here we can see the 404 not found again so how to see this link with the same routes and in the same route i want to see the name of the student also so how we can do this so we need to the name parameter as the optional so very simple just use the question mark after the variable okay so now it will become as optional parameter but you can see inside the function we are using the name hello so if we don't pass this so here we will get error so just use space here okay so if you not provide a name they will simply written hi i am a student and my name is colon for name there will have no value so just refresh this so here you can see the same output so up to this is clear so now i need to pass the default value suppose we have not passed any name from the url so i want to see some default value in the name section okay so just write here the default name suppose i am writing here the default student okay so if we not pass any parameter so we can see hi i am student and my name is default student but if we pass the name that is john doe so we can see the hi i am student and my name is john doe so very easy we can do this easily so along with this i want to make the validate the name also so suppose i want to pass the john one two three okay so here's john one two three looks like taste name basically in the name 
we don't write the number here so how we can validate using the routes so go to the routes and here i will add some constraints with the routes so here my constant is where okay so where i will create a array so suppose if i want to add the multiple parameter we can say it in an array so here i am passing the name so just use the name and here i will set the rule okay so here my rule is my name should between capital a to z or maybe small a to z okay and i am adding the plus here here for duplicate occurrence of any alphabet okay so just use this so if we now refresh this here i am passing john one two three here one two three is the numeric so if you refresh this we will get the four zero four not found okay and if we pass the simple text here suppose john we will we'll see the my name is john okay so in this way we can use routes as a validator also so this is the very small small things while we are using laravel routes so if you have any questions about this video please comment in the below comment section so next day we will discuss about another new topic please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye